everybody's attention for one minute while we're waiting for some more of our guests to arrive. So thank you first, everybody, for coming and helping make the parade this year such a great success. So the first thing I think you need to do is give yourself a hand. Good job for making a, the parade a success. You know, one of the things that a lot of my essay writers know about is the man who started the first department store, Santa. And what was that man's name? James Edgar. James Edgar. And where did that man come from? Scotland. And was he an immigrant from Scotland? Yes, he was. So now I'm going to play Jeopardy. And I'm going to give you the answer, and I want you to come up with the question. The answer is Pauline. And the question is, what was the name of James Edgar's horse? James Edgar had the most beautiful horse with the longest, curliest mane of hair, and he used to ride up and down Main Street and wave to all of the children in Brockton and say, come to my Edgar's department store and buy your clothes and your toys at my store. All right, who's ready for the next answer? Jeopardy for $600. The White Angels. Remember to put your answer in the form of a question. What was the name of the crew that James Edgar hired because he was so mad at the city of Brockton for having a dirty Main Street? The White Angels. He hired his own men and put them in special uniforms and their job was to go up and down Main Street and keep it clean. All right, who's ready for the next answer? The answer is Children's Day. And the question is? It happens in June? Yes, every June. James Edgar would say to the people of Brockton, I want all the children in Brockton to have a special day in the park, and everything is on me. And he rounded up every single horse-drawn trolley, every single wagon, every single vehicle, loaded them up with 2,000 children, and brought them all to a special park for a day of fun in the park. Rides and boat rides and a barbecue picnic and you name it. So you are correct, Children's Day. All right, here's the last answer. And I want you to think of the question. James Edgar Playground. All right, we'll give someone else a chance. James Edgar Playground. If no one else has a chance, I have the um, Ken Jenkins $100,000 winner of Jeopardy right here. And the answer is? It's his park. It's his park named after him. And who donated the land to the city of Brockton to become James Edgar Park? His daughter. He had one little girl and his daughter donated the land. And who is the famous, famous athlete who used to practice and get stronger and make his arms strong at James Edgar Park? I have a winner. The answer is? Who is Rocky Marciano? Rocky Marciano. Can I get something? The heavyweight champion of the world used to practice in James Edgar Park. So what I would like to do is we have people who won
the essay contest and we're runners up of the essay contest. Can you please stand? If you won the essay contest or you were runner up of the essay contest, stand up and wave to each other. Essay contest winners. Good job. And Mr. Marion is going to award you individually. All right, you may be seated. Do we have any art contest winners or runners up? Stand up, wave to each other, and give them a hand. Woo! Do we have any band winners? or a cold drink, and Mr. Marion, who knows Mr. Marion? Mr. Marion, wave to everyone. We're gonna turn the program over to Mr. Marion, and everyone who's here is a champion of Brockton and a winner in Brockton, so give yourselves one more hand. I appreciate that. Uh, as you know, Lynn is very uh, involved in the community and she does so many things from uh, Frederick Douglass to uh, George P. Park, right? And she's so devoted to uh, not only the community but the children. And so, uh, you know, today is a day that uh, we celebrate all of the uh, achievements that really the children have accomplished. I mean, the floats are great, you know, the bands are great, the dance groups are great, but this is uh, about a community and uh, really building a community and building it from the ground up. I'm really uh, pleased that this event has turned into not only a parade, but I have to say, if it wasn't for uh, Brockton Community Access and Mark was behind the uh, the camera over here, we would have never have even gotten to this point because he was our biggest proponent and our biggest advocate when we were back. You know, we had like two trucks and a Christmas tree in the parade. So um, it, it, it's really, it, it has to do a lot with the promotion. And, you know, we started out as a parade, but you know, 28 years later, it's really become a community event where, you know, we can celebrate arts, we can celebrate uh, literacy, we can celebrate families, children, and then get into like, you know, the participation of the floats. Uh, these are all grassroots floats. People take a lot of time putting them together. And you know, it, they're not professional floats by any means, but I'll tell you, a lot of them look like professional floats. I mean, you can really tell just by the effort that's put in. And then more and more marching units. I mean, we were always told, what's the matter with you guys? How come we don't have more bands? Well, I think this year we had more bands than ever. And one of our winners is the Bridgewater Rain uh, band, which I'm really so happy that this has gone even past the Brockton community into like the suburbs, and it's great. It's just a testament to say, you know, what it's become, and it really has to do with the involvement. You can't have things like this unless there's involvement. And if you get the involvement, you know, you start to get uh, families coming out and watching their children perform. Later on tonight, we're going to give two other awards, both to men that have given their time uh, to the community. But the fact of the matter is, is that unless the young people understand, and I'm so glad that Lynn talked about who James Edgar was, because there were folks that wrote about James Edgar, okay? Uh, I'm so glad that she really uh, thought about, you know, thinking about how important it is, you know, to, to, to recognize the art, okay? Because it's all about holiday time. And it's a welcoming time where we invite all cultures to come and participate. And I'm very proud of that as well. And now it's getting to the point where I think people that marched in this parade 28, 30 years ago, they have children and grandchildren. And, you know, when I have somebody come up to me and say, Mr. Mary, you know, all those years, how many years, all those years ago, you know, I was in the parade, but I can't be, because Mark, me and you only been doing this five years. I think I can't be 30 years, right? <laughs> and now they have grandchildren in the parade, and that is so cool. They come back, even if they're not living in Brockton, they come back and they see and they, and, and they participate. And, well, to me, this is the best part of the day, okay? It's the best part of the day, and this is the most 
full, this is the fullest that I've seen this woman. That means that people are actively involved. The families are coming out. I had families call me up and say, how many people can I bring? Bring the whole, I don't care, bring them all. Because the more the merrier, and you, you, know, you really get um, a sense of what we're about, you know, rather than just reading stuff and not knowing what the community is about, you really get a sense of what the community is about when you, when, you, when you start to gather with different people, not just our own churches or our own organizations, but now you come together as a community. So we have uh, representatives here from the State House. Uh, we have Michelle Dubois and Michael Brady. And you know they here. They, this is the first time that we have citations from like the state. Of, that that means that we've gotten all the way to Boston and back. It's not just about, it's not just about Main Street Park. And and I, and I didn't even know that. I mean, this is great. I mean, what a great surprise, right? That we have citations for all you folks that have that have, that have done things. So everybody's a winner today, right? That's the way I look at it, right? You participated. You were in. You're here. And you know what? We're all celebrating. And what is it that we're celebrating? Please tell me. James Edgar. Well, we're celebrating James Edgar, right? You learned about who he was, right? Right? Mm -hmm. But how about community? Are we celebrating community? Yes. Yes, we're celebrating community. We're celebrating, you know, Cape Verdeans and Haitians and Italians and Armenians, okay? And Irish people and Polish people and Swedes, right? Like Mr. Landerholm, all right? And Jewish people and everybody, right? Because that's what we are. We're a melting pot. And the best thing about it is we're all together, right? We all get along, and we all get involved in this parade, and we get excited, and then guess what? We have this day, right? So we all say thank you. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for participating. All right, so enough of that blah, blah, blah. All right? <laughs> Let's get to this. I'm sorry I have to read some of these because, um, you know, I... I, uh, I uh, I'm going to pronounce some of these names wrong. So what do we want to do first? Who can be my assistant? Man, Jan, will you, be, will you want to be my assistant? Okay, be my assistant. All right. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to do, let's see. How about uh, the art contest, right? All right, so I'm going to say, we're going to look right in here. This is the art contest, right? I'm going to say, um, one of the honorable mentions. So we're going to do art first, all right? Everybody saw the booklet? Did everybody see the booklet? We ran out of booklets. We didn't have a book. Did everybody see the booklet the day of the parade? All this stuff was in it. So on the cover of that uh, of that book is, is the winner of the art contest. And inside is honorable mentions. So um, I have Sophia Averin from South Middle. Is, is Sophia here? Yes? Right, right here? Come over here. So this is, and, th and this is thanks to Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. Okay, Lynn took the time and copied all of these and put them in a frame. We don't normally do that, but Lynn thought that you know maybe I should step up the game a little bit, so she <laughs> stepped it up for me. Right. So this is yours. Thank you very much for being involved in this. Congratulations. And we hope that you inspire all of us with your art in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have uh, Divey Demosthenes. Is that right? Huh? Do we, is, did I say the name right? That's an honorable mention. OK. And then we also have um, Lissandro Velasquez. OK. Lissandro. Okay, and then we also have Dor Dorval from West Middle um, as our winner. Yes, so Dora, could you please come up here? You have two things. So we have this. Okay, this is so um, we put this on a plaque because that's how special it is. And this is actually uh, what you drew. Okay, did they give you your art back, by the way? Sometimes they did not. Oh, you gonna, they, we gave it back. We gave it back. I'm just telling you, we gave it back. Oh, good idea, right? So this inspired us. So we'd like you to tell us w w what what this is about. Could you tell us a little bit about this? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be nervous. I drew a little cottage with um, lights in there to be like a family Christmas house. And like in the middle here, it's really faint. You can't really see it. But it's supposed to be like a little red light that's supposed to be Rudolph Red Nose Reindeer. And then there's like a, a tiny speck over here that's supposed to be Santa Claus. 
Wow, that's cool. That's a lot of thought. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, and um, the winners, and I, I think, so the winners of the art and the cover get a laptop, and I think Mrs. Rodriguez has them upstairs, but we will wow. tell them, right? Yeah, so we can learn about them. All right? Thank you very much. All right. Now, next we're going to do uh, James Edgar, all right? This guy's my favorite, all right? I'm not supposed to tell you this, but I wrote a book about it. It'll be out in a year. It's going to be good, all right? It's all about Morocco. So, honorable mention, mention, mention. Uh, S. Rye Smith, Brookfield School. Is that right here? All right. Okay. Where are you, my dear? All right. Um, what, what did you learn about James Edgar when you, when you were writing this? Um, at first, um, I was, I really didn't know what to write, um, but when I read it, um, I think. See, that's okay, because, you know, I, I put you on the spot. But I'm going to tell you, if you read this, okay, if you read this, you're going to know exactly what inspired her, because that's the whole point. When they write them, you know, they, they tell us, okay? So I want you to read it, all right? Read it. It's on our website, usachristmastown.org. But it inspired me to dig in further on who this character is, because there's, there's a lot about him. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Can we get a picture, sweetie? Thank you. Awesome. All right, next. We have, uh, let's see. Avery O'Brien from the Brookfield. Avery here? No? OK. And then we have uh, Florilai Rojas. So we're having her brother give the uh, give the. Uh, uh, so Elon's going to give the award. Could you please give the award to your sister? Yeah, and then we'll take a picture right here. What a guy! And he's dressed up good in his suit. Look at that. He must have gone to Miriam's. Nice job. Thank you very much. Can I have a picture with you? That's all. Can I have a picture with you? Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Awesome job. All right. Now. James Edgar community uh, for the James Edgar winner in the uh, essay contest, and our winner is uh oh this is going to be a tough one. Uh, let's see, Ahidi Amin Yuli. How did I do? How did I do? Did I crucify that? Yes. I did. Well, I'm going to tell you something. My last name is Mugadichi. Do you want to say that one? Mugadichi. All right. Can I? Can you say the name? For you? Can you tell me how to pronounce the name? Ahidium. Ahidium. Okay, and then what about, what about the last one? You mean to tell me I did that badly? I doubt it like that. Yeah. All right, Ahidium <laughs> is right here. He won a James Edgar Essay Award winner, right? He won a wonderful essay by James Edgar. Congratulations. Oh, okay. We're going to get down. Okay, let me ask you. Oh, me? I thought I was going to get organized. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And tell all your friends so that they're inspired to All right. Oh, wait. Now, this one. I should have been giving these out like that. Yeah. Right. Master Soy, what do we got here? Uh, oh, I can run around. Yeah, well, wait a minute, what do we got? East City, Spirit of Excellence. You got more stuff than I have. These are, these are uh, mics. What are these? What is Spirit of Excellence? What's that? I don't know. 
I didn't. I don't. I took All right. Well, you know what? We're gonna you tell me when we get to them. All right. So here we go. So now we're going to do um, floats. We'll do the floats, and then we have the band. Oh, you can stop the band. All right. Well, uh, so bands are really important in this parade. Okay, and when we get bands from all over, it makes us feel good because we have our middle school bands in Brockton. We have our uh, some elementary, yes, and then we have our uh, Brockton High band. But we love when other bands come, right? So uh, this year, I'm really happy about this because I remember. Have you been the director there for how many, how many years? Four. Years. Four. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think. So, the band, did you come on and restart the band? Was that you? No, that was Sam and Darryl. Oh, that was Sam. Oh, yeah. that, okay, that was Sam. Because I remember there was like 12 of them at one point, okay? And now it's gotten so much bigger, and you guys sound, they sounded good then too, but there was just a few of them. Now there's more, and I was really excited when I saw that you guys won the award. So, our first place band award goes to Bridgewater Random High School. Come on up. And <laughs> Nice job. Thank you for participating. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Are you going to come up too? I want to get a picture. <laughs> you want to get a picture? Yeah, if you want to be in it, we can take it. This is my captain, Jillian Ross, and our youngest member and tallest, Timothy Storm. <laughs> Person. Uh, do I hold it down? There you go. There you go. You look beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. Jake, you'll get for participating. We really do appreciate and, it. And uh, we appreciate when you come to the courts too for adoption. They, the band did a fantastic Aww. job at this record. Awesome. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So. So um, this young lady is a friend of mine. Uh, she graduated the same year as I did, 1977, from high school. Lisa Matta. Um, she has a dance studio in Brockton. Her mother and father had it for years. Uh, they won last year, and they also won this year. But she got deathly ill today. So uh, she apologized for not being here. I just want to say we couldn't. Uh, do it without her. She's been a part of the committee now the last two or three years. She's really added so much, but she brought a lot of enthusiasm back back into the dance group category, and really excited to give her this. Now I'll go over to her academy and give her both this year and last year's trophies to her students because it's all about the kids. So congratulations to Lisa Madison. <laughs> Honorees, some we've already been handing out as we hear their names. Yeah. Um, so we have one from Massasoit. Oh, is Massasoit here? Oh, beautiful. You're gonna take Massasoit. Okay, yeah. But I know Love Alliance. And then who's that girl? And Love Alliance. And who's the number one? Oh, with is Brookfield? Oh, you guys are here. Oh, yes. Great. <laughs> we've got citations we got? for them. I've already oh. gone inside Brookfield. Guess what I got in here? These are the laptops. So, the door to bow, right? We have our laptop, right? So I'm going to bring this right over. Thank you very much. And then you can give this over to, uh, to the young man over there. I'm not trying it again. All right, so now we're down to floats. Okay, so look, I would like everybody to go back out there and tell them, look, there is like big money involved in this, okay? We're talking about 500 for third place, 1,000 for second, and 1,500 for third. I mean, no, what did I do? For first, right? And so that's $3,000 we're giving away. And ever since we started doing this, all right, it really jumped it up as far as like, um, you know, the level of what these floats are. I mean, I think, uh, let's see, you did, Love Alliance did, uh, oh, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk. Love Alliance did, uh, Polar Express, and I could have sworn that train was exactly like the one in the movie, right? 
I could have, you know, so you guys, so you guys probably spent like 10, 15,000, right? You get 1,500 back, that's 10%, right? right? But the trade still works, right? What, what did you guys do? What profile? Put them together. Right? Uh, sugar, sugar, sugar. Oh, the green still could, that's right. I got all nervous when I saw that. You're absolutely correct, right? And then, Barney, you guys did? I, huh? I don't know. Well, it was the play. They just asked me right, to come. It <laughs> right, it was the play. Anyway, all right, so, so we got uh, for third place, all right, we have Brookfield, correct? Right, all right, so come on up. Congratulations. You guys had a lot of you guys had you guys had, right? Brookfield was good. I think it's because my wife is in part of the Brookfield school meeting. All right, she pushes us to be better. All right, so, so this is the $500 check, okay? Yes, congratulations. And Michelle did. Yeah, Michael, we both, and Brady. Yeah. we both have citations from the Senate from the House, so congratulations. Oh, and thank and you. Congratulations. congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good for you. Thank you. Are you going to do it again? Oh, yes. we already signed up. Well, listen, the more floats we get, the better it is. I mean, right now, I got a call from the guy who organized the Macy's Parade, and he says the competition's tough. We're taking people away, so keep it up. <laughs> all right. Second place, Massasoit Arts. Now, I love Mark Rocheteau. He's the best, okay? He always wants to do something for the parade because uh, right then, right, 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 right coming into that weekend, the... Uh, Performing Arts does their play, and they do a magnificent job. So if you haven't seen any of the productions over at Massachusetts, you got to go see it because it's great. So, Bonnie, I'm going to present you with a check, okay, for $1,000 for wow. the Massachusetts Community Arts for winning second place. Senator Brady, how are you doing? Congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay, perfect. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. With all faults and fans, you can't do it. All right, now, there's a conspiracy going on because it's all, they're almost saying like Love Alliance is like uh, the Patriots because every year or every other year Love Alliance wins. Okay, so uh, either either they know they know Brady and they, well, they got the formula down for, for floats. So something's going on here. But the real the real caveat to that is they were hard and their floats show it. And I couldn't be happier to give $1,500 to these guys because uh, they run a great organization, but more importantly, they put their heart and soul into this. So, come on up and receive your love alliance, first place, $1,500. Yeah. Oh, all right. Look at the citation. One of them, and then Michelle has a one from the house. Oh, I don't know. Well, listen, it's great, huh? You guys are awesome. Thank you. Guys I really appreciate awesome. it. You step the bar up all the time. Love you guys. Good? All right, thank you very much. Always a pleasure. You guys are great. All right, so we have some other little trinkets here that we're going to get out. All right? So is, uh, is, is there somebody here from Pluff Academy? Is there anybody here from Pluff? Pluff? All right, so. Oh, this is a new category. Oh, this is a, this is a new category. Thank God for our representatives and our senators in the State House because. Yes. So we have, uh, in recognition of receiving first place in the middle school category of, oh, yeah, I'm of band, right? Yeah. But that's awesome. I can't believe that. It's awesome. We have a new category, and I didn't even know about it. And this one's from the Senate as well. Congratulations. Congratulations to you. Awesome. Nice job. Yes. Oh, so special, yes. good. I love it. You guys look wonderful. Thank you, Michelle. So you know Thank the you. good thing about you're very welcome. Thank you, great job. So this is really good because uh, tonight I'm going to talk about Mr. McQueen and his dedication to the Brockton 
uh, music program, and just the fact that we are recognizing middle school, okay, for band category, makes me feel incredible. Because this is what Mr. Macrina is all about. He decided way back when, when him and I got together, uh, well, uh, so many years, uh, that he was gonna start his fourth grade, fourth graders off in music and build a program from the ground up. And if he didn't have that vision and foresight, okay, we wouldn't have Pluff here in that category. So, awesome stuff. So we got uh, Oliver Ames, is Oliver Ames here? So Oliver Ames? Okay, I know. Yeah, I can get that yeah, yeah. 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 City Reps yeah. Dance Studio. Oh, that's um, Ruby's uh, sister. Yeah. Okay. We can always get right. into Day Dance. Oh, yeah, no, I'll give that to Lisa. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, North, North Middle and West Middle School. This is also North for band? band? This is also for band, huh? North West? Yeah. North and West, come on up here. This is also for All band. Right. This is great. This is great. Hey, Mark, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Here is North, okay. North and West Middle School of Reading sees your second place. Congratulations. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tell everybody we appreciate it. So that pretty much concludes. Unless you guys have other surprises. Yeah, other surprises. So all of you will take care of Madaday, Spirit of Excellence. Are you here, Spirit of Excellence? Oh, no, they're not. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll put them all together. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, that's awesome idea. All right, maybe we'll do it. Uh, okay, so how about if all the winners come up right over here, we take one group picture of everybody. All right, representative from somebody, we take a group picture. How's that? Come on up. Let's do that before we conclude. Okay. Stay there, stay there. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our official USA Christmas top photographer. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. So I, I want I want to thank everybody as we wrap up. But you you're more than welcome to stay and eat and drink because we got the food for you. Okay, please stay, eat and drink. We got the food for you. But most importantly, what I'd like to say is thank you, thank you. All right, thank you for coming. Thank you for, for participating. I hope that you spread the word. All right. You've all moved here for a reason. I hope that events like this really make you feel good about why you moved to Brockton and why you're living here and chose to bring up your families. It's a really important decision as parents that we make where we bring up our families. But I want you to know, okay, and I'm speaking from the heart, my grandparents came here in the early 1900s Okay, we have a business here. It's our third generation in business. We, my brother and I, we both live here still. We brought up our children here. All our children went to Brockton Public Schools. I can't say enough about Brockton Public Schools. But understand one thing. Don't look for anything to happen. It's all about you. It's all about how you interact with what's available to you. This community has so much. It's up to you to make it blossom like a flower in the spring. There's a park here called DW Park. There's history here of which my, um, really good friend, sorry, Mr. Landerholm was not with us um, because he's since passed. He gave the best history to us. You need to know the history of where you live. It's awesome. I mean, it is everything that we are about, okay? I don't care what nationality you are. I understand that a lot of good things happened in Brockton and will continue to happen in Brockton. It was because of guys like Kyle that I learned about it and we'll celebrate it tonight. But the fact of the matter is, that's one of the reasons why we are all, my, all our state senators, all our councilors, all our mayors, you know, our school department, we're all dedicated to things like this because if your children don't learn it, okay, then nobody's going to know it. And if nobody knows it, okay, then they just keep talking about all the stuff, okay, that we don't want to hear, that this community is blah, 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 whatever. 
I don't like to say it because I'm not a negative person. There is no negativity here. It's all what we make. So if you come away with anything from today, it's that, look, you're in a great place and you can only make it better.